course, but you, you talked about when it rains, it pours, and yeah. you've had a rough couple of years. I have. You had a, a, the most personal book you've done yet, which yes. was inspired in part, of course, you jumped away from it, but your the, the life of your sister, mm -hmm. and uh, that inspired a, a book that could have uh, been the breakout book for you, but then right as it comes out, you get filled with breast cancer, stupid breast cancer. Yes, stupid, stupid cancer. <laughs> and you, stupid cancer. <laughs> and you fight it off, and yeah. it's, it's a weird thing. Uh, people that you don't know, but you have this connection to, yeah. who reach out to you. Did did that surprise you? I mean, it wouldn't surprise you that they were warm and supportive, but what was it like? You know, I wasn't very public about it. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, you know, the people who reached out to me were the people who knew me well. I didn't put it on Facebook or write a lot about it. Um, but as people have found out post, it's been, it'll be two years the day the book comes out. Great. Oh, that's Two awesome. Two years the day the book comes the out from diagnosis. I found out on June 23rd, 2013. So... This is a great way to turn yeah, the day into something it turns positive. Yeah, it turns it around. It turns it around. You're like, good. Yeah. When they announce the date, so you're like, So there you good. go. Yeah. yeah. And is it a, uh, is it a, it's, it's a weird thing. You know, when as fans start to read it on their show, it means so much to them that you share yeah. it. It means so much and, the, and their support and warmth is a, it's a really funny thing how you Well, and this. it's, what it, what I've have to remember is that telling them isn't a sign of weakness what it makes them realize is how connected we all really are mm -hmm. because I don't believe there's anybody that hasn't been touched by it in some way and you know mine was a struggle and of course and I had my own battles with it and had to do chemo and the things that you're scared of, of course. and they are scary and you do have to hunker down and heal but in the end we have to do it as a community so and then, of course, it becomes trendy. All the people who followed you, like Angelina Jolie. No, then all the celebrities had to jump on <laughs> and, and do the same thing. And it's awesome how, how everybody's becoming bubbly. It's like, of course it's not a sign of weakness. Of you course know, not. But when you're sick, you feel that way. Yeah. You know, so there's been a an outpouring of love, not only from my friends, but as people start to find out mm -hmm. and, and want to talk about it. Right. That's funny. And then you fell off a cliff. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was hiking in Tennessee, and I was hiking alone. <laughs> Just, so you where you know where this going, right? Yeah, yeah. you, you know where this is going already. Off your arm okay, stop. The cut off the arm guy. Yeah, <laughs> oh my I, God. I, no, and um, I wasn't even doing anything that treacherous. I really wasn't. <laughs> I was in Tennessee at a writer's colony in Swanee, Tennessee, and I went to take a walk for a break. As one will. As one should. And I do all the time, and I got lost. And I got lost, and I asked for directions like a good girl would, and I misunderstood what the student I ran into told me to do. And I ended up on the on a rock cliff um, that dead ended. Oh my God! And I couldn't get turned around. Oh, and I'm so sorry. I know it was so terrible. Instead of turning around, I plummeted about oh. 20 feet. So, oh, which is really far. Really you far. You could have died. Uh, don't say that. Well, no, and you, I don't you, really trying. remember. I don't remember the fall. Uh -huh. And I remember sitting down and I remember looking down and thinking, oh, I'm okay. Until I saw my foot. Hmm. And so luckily I was near, you know, I had my phone and it worked. And I called Swanee Fire and Rescue. And it took a long time, but they got me out. And How did they figure out where you were? I dropped a pin on my iPhone. Nice. <laughs> nice, right? That's I should how learn they how to do me. that. That's how they found me because they kept saying, where are you? And I kept saying, I don't know. That's the point. I'm lost. And, and they found me and we had to repel. They had to repel me out mm. and, um, you know, surgery and rehab and learning to walk again on it. And I'm all good. And you know what I see in the midst of all of that? Yeah. 2013 a book, 2014 a book, and 2015 Crazy. a book. Yes. You didn't drop a beat. I did drop a lot of beats. Well, not the beats I did. that matter. Did not the beats that matter. And, and you know what the, the fascinating thing about these kinds of traumas obstacles, and yeah. obstacles, exactly, Michael, is that you discover what is okay to drop and what isn't. You think it's not okay to drop certain things, that, that there's plates you have to keep in the air that you don't need to keep in the air. Mm -hmm. And you're right, my books were finished and they still came out and the publishing house still supported me. But things, there were things that had to be dropped. You, you I mean, you have to find a way to, to pull it all in and say what matters the most. And if you can conquer breast cancer and you can conquer yep. a cliff, you can conquer Hollywood. That's what I think. Let's get that one done. So, 
<laughs> yeah, I would well, think so too. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Oh, Michael, so much fun. I'll talk to you anytime.